Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn easy-to-implement tips on how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award-winning professional organizer and coach, Julie also shares suggestions to help you live clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. In this month's bonus, I want to talk about gratitude. If you listen to all my podcasts or watch all my videos, this would be the one thing I would hope you would take away from everything. When I was really unhappy in life, I barely had any gratitude. My life changed for the better when I incorporated it as a regular practice. I strive to be thankful for something every day. When we are in gratitude, it's hard to accumulate emotional and mental clutter. You cannot hold two opposing thoughts at once. When we are grateful for how much we have, it lessens our need to get more and more, which can easily create physical clutter. By having gratitude, we raise our vibration and can attract what we choose to in life. What are you grateful for? Do you share your gratitude? I love social media because you can really learn a lot about a person. Examine your posts, tweets, and comments. Are yours mainly positive and uplifting and expressing thanks, or are they mainly complaints and negatives? We can often be on autopilot and not even aware of what we are saying. Look at your friends' posts that are generally upbeat and positive. Do you get that they have a sense of gratitude? Observe your coworkers, friends, and families. Do you sense a pattern with people who are thankful for what they have? My grandmother had Alzheimer's, and we were fortunate to have a caretaker, Tressy, who was a phenomenal human being. After my grandmother died, she and her husband lost their house to a fire. My parents and I went to visit them. As Paul was a minister, they asked if we could all pray before we left. We held hands, and Paul led us in a prayer. He and Tressie talked about how grateful they were for all they had and how they wanted our family to be blessed. I started to cry because I was so moved by their ability to be thankful after having lost everything and to want to make sure we were taken care of. When you have gratitude, you can see what truly matters. I used to be a fairly negative person, and I credit giving thanks daily for supporting me in making changes. Stephen Covey said it takes 21 days to create a habit. Beginning today, make a list of what you're grateful for. Keep it close so when something comes to mind, you can jot it down. Be sure to include the small things, a pretty sunset, an ice cream cone, or a smile from a stranger. If you're in a challenging space right now, try and have gratitude for basic things such as being able to read, having access to clean water, health insurance, or having a place to live. Many of us have easy access to things that other people don't. And if you can't feel any gratitude at the moment, that's okay. You're a human, but I encourage you to make the effort. I believe acknowledging that in this moment you can't have gratitude is better than being fake. I had been really frustrated at myself because I hadn't been able to get out of this block and have gratitude. So I was at Harris Teeter, which is a local grocery store where I live, and I saw this man who was going from all the sample plates. You know how they have something in the deli for cheese and meats and bread and cookies. They have that all in one area. And after I got my order from the deli, I ran outside to catch him and I said, could I please buy you lunch? And he was really moved by it. And he was a little bit in shock. I don't think he believed that someone wanted to buy him something to eat. And so when I came home, I burst into tears And I said to my husband, we have so much to be thankful for. We're so blessed. There are so many things to be grateful for. And seeing that man and seeing him homeless and not having enough to eat really moved me. And if you were able to take your gratitude to really feeling it, and it's great to express it, but this is part two of it, taking it to the next level of being able to feel it, that's something that's just even more wonderful. But that gratitude was genuine and heartfelt, and it broke my block of not being able to find gratitude when I was struggling with something else. And again, don't beat yourself up if you aren't able to have gratitude. But to me, it's like anything. It's a muscle. The more you exercise, the more you do it. Honor where you are. Okay, everyone, express your gratitude today so you can create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Thanks for tuning in to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of 10 Clutter-Free Living Tips. 
Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's coaching, ebooks, online monthly decluttering classes, how to organize your life, office hours, and her unique clutter free living mastermind at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. You can also watch all episodes on YouTube or download on iTunes and more. Join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.